Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. It has been quite a minute, huh? <laughs> uh, it's good to be back um, making videos and, and talking with everybody. I missed you all. Sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, I've just been really busy with life, with work, and just been kind of swamped with those things. I haven't really had much time to do YouTube videos and so it's, it's good to be back and talk about, but I want to kick off again talking about my predictions for Scream 7. Now Scream 6 just came out last month and it was a fun movie, right? It was a blast, like great job uh, from the directors and everybody behind that movie. It was awesome, it was a fun Scream movie. It was a totally different Scream movie than we've seen before and I, I thought they did a great job with it. I will say I did have some mixed feelings on it. You know, I did do a um, kind of my feelings on the on the movie um a few weeks back after i saw it and but it was a great movie like i loved it i can't wait to watch it again uh, i think it comes out on dvd and video and you can buy it on amazon and stuff i think on the 25th coming up here in a couple weeks so that would be cool we're gonna be getting it but yeah let's talk about scream 7 for a minute um where is this movie going after six you know that is the big question that we need to ask and so far we don't know I know online there was from for those of you who follow viewer Anon, he's a big uh, leaker in the movie industry and video games and TV shows and all this different stuff. If you follow viewer Anon, you know that he he or she tweeted about um, Scream Seven already possibly being they wanting they're wanting to film it this coming October, like really quick. Um, and I guess they already have an idea. Now there also was an interview with Jenna Ortega and she talked about how she would like to see the movie go um, overseas, right? Maybe to London or something like that. Like that would be really cool. We've never seen an international Scream movie. The big question is though, where do you take the story from here, right? You know, what's next? Um, and I, I think that to end the Samantha and trilogy i'm gonna call it the carpenter trilogy i think you gotta bring sydney back in the mix right i think that they need to well i think either two things need to happen i think one um nev campbell she kind of just needs to get over it her money thing and make scream seven like you know to end the frame oh, sorry scream yeah scream seven to end the to end the trilogy right to end the carpenter trilogy like you know there, you need to bring sydney back and you need to bring her in the mix or two the company who's paying everybody's paychecks needs to just pay nev campbell what she's worth and give her the money like you know hand her a couple extra mil i don't know what she was wanting a couple extra million dollars or whatever but like just give her the money and make the next installment like you gotta end these movies with a big bang uh, and if they're going to do something even crazier than six, uh, take it overseas and then also bring Nev Campbell back, right? Make the fans happy. Give them what they want. Now, I will be honest with you. I enjoyed six. I didn't really miss um, Nev in the movie. I know it's kind of harsh, but, you know, I love Sydney as a character. But, you know, I feel like at the same time, you should just let Sydney enjoy her life let her live a happy married life with her kids and Mark. And, but if you're going to do a scream seven and kind of end out the trilogy of the Carpenter series, you need to, you need to come up with something big, right? So bring back Sydney, bring back Mark and Cade, right? The detective, um, Mr. Dreamy, as people would say from uh, Grey's Anatomy, right? But yeah, I mean, you, you gotta go something different. Now, where are the locations going to be set? Like Jen Ortega was talking about international, that would be kind of cool. I would like it personally to be go back to Woodsboro. I think it'd be cool. I mean, it was cool going to New York and everything, but I think it would be cool to go back to Woodsboro or make a movie in the snow. We've never seen a screen movie in the snow, right? Like have like kind of like a Christmas theme kind of going on in the background like that would be kind of fun because this movie was set during Halloween so why not have another holiday and do uh Christmas uh and then make the movie with snow and stuff like that like that would be really cool if they could 
pull that off and write a movie. Um, my thing is with killers, I don't know what you can go from here. I mean, I guess there is some unanswered questions like, you know, who is, you know, Richie's mom, right? She was never in the mix. Uh, unless they answer that question, I'm just wasn't paying attention. Uh, which she she's still part of the story, like she dead. I don't I don't remember really. Uh, who is uh, Samantha's mom? That's another one, right? We haven't really met Samantha's mom or Tara's mom. Um, you could bring back relatives of other family members. You know, I, I don't know. I think there's a lot of different things that you can do with this movie if they're gonna make a seven. But yeah, I mean, you know, we definitely need a seven movie. And I'm all down for it. If they're going to make Scream 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'll be watching them. And I'm, I'm excited for the I love Scream. So, And the thing is about Ghostface, you can put anybody in the mask and it'd be fun, right? You can make anybody um, Ghostface. It's not like there's only one Michael Myers. There's only one Freddy Krueger. There's only one, you know, uh, Jason. But with his last Halloween movies, I don't know if there's just one Michael Myers. I think they were trying to set up that one guy to be michael myers right so i don't know um but yeah you know i'm excited for i hope they're gonna make a scream 7 uh, i guess we'll see in the future what they're gonna do i hope that they bring back um what sorry okay so one of my last things before i end the video one of my biggest complaints about scream 6 was the plot armor people like to say or safety nets right a lot of people got wounded and messed up in this movie and they didn't really show that you know, in Scream 7, they need to up that where like if somebody gets stabbed or whatever, you need to have that kind of like they're hurt. Right. And this movie was like you got stabbed, stabbed, stabbed. And it like it didn't affect people or it didn't really hurt them. And they're just walking around like normal, like or just going to bed. It's like, oh, Ghostface attacked us last night. All right. We'll all meet up tomorrow morning. Like, I don't know. It's just I feel like there has to be some sort of trauma to these attacks right there has to be some sort of um showing that they've been attacked and that they are struggling with this you know other than sam dealing with her craziness um there has to be some sort of showing that this is happening um the the characters weren't really stressed out right there was just i don't know anyways i don't want to go rampant on that maybe we can talk about that in a future video but yeah i feel like with seven they need to make it more realistic i guess you could say right than they did um it's a movie at the end of the day right like it's a movie so you know people live people die but um yeah i just think they need to go in a different direction with seven so anyways guys it's good to be back as always if you like this video please like the video if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel we're still on our way to a thousand subs um but yeah it's good to be back and um, I'm, I'm excited to keep making videos and to see you guys again so all right, as always, guys, my name is Nathan. Have a good night. Take care.